Hey everybody, it's uh, Stefan Schuck with uh, Studio Web and Killer Sites. So in this quick little vlog, I want to talk about the order of courses to learn. So uh, I'm here on the Studio Web list and we're actually going to reverse this because it gives wrong impression. So we have HTML, CSS, JavaScript, PHP. Now, Intuitively, you would say to yourself, well, let's teach them the JavaScript first because it's on the client side. It's the programming language in the browser. And then we'll move to the uh, beginner's PHP because PHP is on the server. And it's kind of, it's, it's, it's displaced, of course, from the web browser. You know, HTML, CSS, JavaScript is in the web browser. It's code for the web browser. And PHP is code for the server. That would seem the case, that would seem to make sense, but in fact, um, I'm, I'm learning, well, relearning from experience. I know from my own experience and from the past, uh, and it's been brought to my attention again, it's actually a lot easier. Once you learn your HTML and your CSS, it's a lot easier to actually jump into PHP first, because JavaScript is, uh, is can be a little tricky to learn not so much because of the language, perhaps, but more because of the web browser. The web browser infrastructure, which JavaScript works inside of, is exactly not the most intuitive thing to learn. And one of the reasons is because each web browser has their own silly way of doing things. And that's why you have libraries like jQuery that have come about jQuery is a JavaScript library, and one of the functions of jQuery is to try and harmonize the differences between the different web browsers. So to do things, so jQuery provides this layer of code that sits in between uh, you and the browser, and this layer of code makes it a lot easier for you to interact with the web browser. Anyway, I've gone off on a tangent. So if you're new to the whole web design thing, and you know, if, if you've been watching my videos, if you're getting into modern web design, you have to learn how to do at least some programming. It's, it's essential, even for web designers, people don't want to get into web development. And so what I would argue is that you do your HTML and your CSS, then jump into beginner's PHP. Now you don't have to do it as the studio web. Uh, well, studio web's for schools, we have academy.studioweb, but wherever you learn it, you know. Uh, jump into beginner's PHP because what's that's what that is going to do if it's taught to you properly is you're going to learn how web browsers interact with the server and that happens all the time uh, well, all the time it's happened it's, it's the whole process of, of the web and it's also going to teach you basic programming concepts that are universal so to learn those programming concepts with PHP is going to be much easier than to learn them with JavaScript. So once you do your beginner's page PHP, then you can jump back and do some JavaScript. Now having, you know, been exposed to basic programming concepts. And if you do get frustrated with um, beginner's JavaScript, uh, welcome to the club. So uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, ciao.